Today guys I have something special for you, a tactic in which you can literally kill Grave Ward or any other boss in the game within a single second without having any skill class build set up. Yes, that is right. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want more Borderlands 3. Also guys, I'm giving away copies of Borderlands every week. To win one for yourself or a friend, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so watch this guys. No specific modifiers which help me here. And I don't have any skill class builds set up at all. But watch how quick this dude dies. So what you just witnessed was the result of literally a few things coming into effect which allows you to do this every single time without fail, and it requires no skill tree build at all. Setting up a build around this will only make this even stronger, and the fact I am doing this on Zane as well makes it a ton better. But you can do this on any build, it does not matter, it doesn't matter what Vault Hunter you use. So what you need for this exact tactic I use in this video, which I will state you can change, which we'll talk about in a second. So what you need is any weapon which sets you on fire. My chosen weapon is a rain firestorm grenade mod, works great. But any weapon which sets you alight will work perfectly fine. You then need a cutsman which deals solar damage for my specific setup. These are will drops and you've probably got one somewhere lying around. You then need the trick unforgiven pistol. This is very important, and then you need this artifact right here, the Elemental Projector Launch Pad. These four items will see you destroy any boss in the game within seconds, unless obviously they have stages to their health and shield bars. So how does this work? Well the artifact gives you a damage boost of plus 183% when you are suffering from the same elemental effect. This is where the setting yourself on fire comes into play. For instance, I throw my firestorm, stand under them, set myself on fire. The cutsman then being a beast of a weapon in general, I use this to do damage to the boss. So I unload a clip aiming for his crit spot. As soon as the bullets or projectiles are just about to hit the boss, I then switch to my trick Unforgiven, which has a plus 432% critical hit bonus damage. This whole tactic uses an old method called trick weapon swapping I believe, where it tricks the game in this instance into thinking because I swapped to that trick unforgiven that it's the weapon that's doing the damage and it's applying that plus 423% damage buff. But that's basically it guys, no need for any particular build at all. Building around the setup will see you killing bosses even quicker, that's for sure. Now this will work with radiation weapons, cryo weapons etc etc. Just use the same methods I do within this video in suffering a said elemental effect then doing damage while under them same effects. The trick Unforgiven is obviously needed with the artifact, but I'm sure other weapons can take the place of the Cutsman, and you can use whatever you can find to actually set yourself on fire, or freeze yourself, or poison yourself, or whatever. That's up to you. So a quick rundown of how this works. The Elemental Projector Launch Pad gives you a damage boost of plus 183% while suffering the same elemental effect. So if you're suffering fire, your fire weapons will have that damage boost. If you're suffering radiation poison, your radiation weapons will have that damage boost. Same with cryo, and same with any other elemental burn. So if you set yourself on fire with a weapon which does this, or a grenade, or if you freeze yourself with a weapon or a grenade, or if you poison yourself with a weapon or a grenade, switching to the same elemental burn will allow these to have the plus damage buff which the artifact gives you. So while you are on fire, shooting with the cutsman will obviously have a massive damage buff. But then as the bullets are about to hit said boss, you then switch to the trick Unforgiven and it tricks the game and gives every one of those cutsman shots a plus 432 critical hit damage buff which is just absolutely ridiculous. And like I said this will work with any elemental burn and this is without any class build setup which is just ridiculous. And the grave will kill you saw was with no particular mods helping me out so it shows you how powerful this is and can be. Also shout out to Taste Rainbow's Sleepy Boy for reminding me of the old school trick weapon swapping tactic. 
and also helping me out in getting this trick unforgiven. Now, if you guys need any particular weapon, artifact, class mod, shield, grenade, whatever, within my Discord, which is linked within the video description, I have dedicated trading sections for every platform. So do check it out if you're in need of something. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, Thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.